Hi, I'm Katie from Barn2 Media. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a completely private Easy Digital Downloads online store as part of a wider WordPress website. I also have separate tutorials to show you how to make just parts of Easy Digital Downloads private. So feel free to watch those if that's what you want to do or keep with me on this tutorial if you want to make your entire download store private so that only people with the password can view your download product and buy online. So to get started, I've set up a basic WordPress test site with the free Easy Digital Downloads plugin set up and I've added some sample Easy Digital Downloads products as well. And you can see in my menu, I've just got a link to downloads. At the moment, my whole website is publicly available. And so it's just a normal easy digital download store. So what I'm gonna show you how to do is how to make this whole download section private so that only people with the correct password can view it. I'll also show you different ways to link to it because you may want your private store to be completely hidden so that nobody on your public site even knows it exists. Or you may want to include a store login link so that people can get to the password entry page. So let's get started. On my test site, I'm gonna to go to the WordPress admin and show you the two plugins that you'll need to do this. So I'm gonna to go to the plugins page and the two plugins you want, you can ignore the others, are Easy Digital Downloads, which is the um, main free Easy Digital Downloads plugin that you'll use to create your products and have the checkout payment options and all that stuff. So that's your e-commerce functionality. You will also need one of our plugins, which is called Password Protected Categories by Barn2 Media. What Password Protected Categories does is allow you to create um, private content within Easy Digital Downloads so that your whole store becomes hidden behind a password. So you've got those two plugins, you've installed and activated them. The next thing you need to do is go to the settings page for, Easy Digital, for Password Protected Categories. You can either click on the link from the plugin page as I did, or you can go settings Pass, uh, protected categories. So you enter your, and activate your license key, which is needed to make the plugin work. And then you just go a few, through a few more settings to get it set up how you want. So first of all, password expiry. This is the number of days that you want people to be able to access your private easy digital download store before they have to re-enter the password. I've got it set to seven days, which means that once someone enters the password, when they revisit the store from the same browser, um, they won't have to re-enter it for seven days. And you can put any whole number of days in that box. The next option is show protected, and it's show protected categories and posts to visitors. Do not tick that box for a private online store because um, by leaving it unticked, the plugin will do some nice things to help with your private store. For example, hiding all of the content within Easy Digital Downloads from search engines and um, the search on your website and your navigation menu and all of that. So don't tick this box. There's then some settings relating to the login form, um, which is the page that people are taken to to enter their password when they try to access any parts of your online store. So I'm gonna change it, private store login. Enter your password to unlock our private store, um, whatever you want really. And I'm gonna save my changes. So that's the plugin set up. What we're going to do now is create a category, a password protected category, within which we will put all of our easy digital downloads, um, and subcategories if we want them, and also all of our downloadable products. So we're gonna go downloads and categories. So this is the normal easy digital downloads page where you create categories. So at the moment I've got no categories. So I want to call one private store call it whatever you want. And I'm going to click password protected. And I can choose a password. So I'm going to call it private EDD. And if you want, you can add multiple passwords. 
so that people can have, for example, each customer might have their own password if you want them to, or you can just have a shared password for everybody. So if you want multiple passwords, then you can you know, click the plus and minuses to add and remove passwords. So it's quite flexible and you can give each customer their own password if you want them to. And then I'm gonna click add new download category and it's added it to the list up here. I'm also going to create a subcategory just for um, to show you how that's possible. So I'm going to call it private subcategory. And I'm going to choose as the parent my main password protected category. I'm going to leave it set to public. I'm not going to password protect it because if you add it as a subcategory of a password protected category, it will automatically inherit the password protection of its parent category. So we leave it as public and click add new download category. So now we have a password protected category and it has a subcategory, which although it says public, it will inherit this password protection. So that means that the password I created for the main private store category will be used whenever someone tries to access the subcategory too and all the products within either category. So it's really user friendly for your customers. All they have to do is enter one password to unlock your whole private easy digital download store and then the whole content within your store will be available to them. And so next we're going to add some downloadable products to these two categories. So we go to the main download page if you don't have any products, you'll need to add some, but I've got various sample products. So what I'm gonna do is put all of them in one or both of my categories. I'm just gonna randomly choose a few. So all I'm doing here is I'm hovering over one using quick edits, uh, which is a really quick way to put things in categories. Of course, you can categorize on the main um, edits download screen as well if you want to. Um, it's all pretty flexible. So that's my last product. All my products are now within, as you can see, my categories. So that means they will all be password protected with the password that I added a minute ago. Let's go to a category now and you can see how it will look. So I'm gonna go back to categories and I'm gonna click view um, on the link. So as you can see, we now have to enter a password and it's unlocked. Um, in the product categories widget, it says no categories. That is because uh, the only categories I've got are password protected. If you are going to use a widget provided like by easy digital download, such as product categories, then you might want to um, only show it on, for example, on your individual download pages or something like that, where only people who have entered the password will see it. Not very professional to have that on your public website, like on your homepage or blog, if it's a private store. So you'll have to think about the navigation so that, um, because the, pro the plugin is hiding your private content, as you can see. So next, what we're going to do is look at the main downloads page as well, as you can see, there's nothing on it. Now, this is because everything is password protected, so you're not going to want to use this page in your store because this is a page that displays all your public products, so just don't use that. Instead, I'm going to show you how to add a store login link. If you don't want a login link, then all you need to do is give the link to your main category, which is this link here, so the view link for your main password protected category, you can give that to your customers at the same time as you give them the password. So you might want to email that to them or something. So you can allow them to access your private store and get to the login page without actually linking to that login page from your website. So I'm gonna show you two ways to add links to the login page if that's what you want to do. The first one we're gonna do is add it as a widget, appearance widgets. Right, I'm going to hide my downloads page, uh, my downloads categories widget, because as you saw, it wasn't really appropriate for my public site. And you can see that I also have a cart widget here. Now, I've ticked the box that says hide if cart is empty, which is really handy because it means that obviously the cart will be empty for somebody visiting your public website because they can't view your products and add them to the cart. So simply by ticking this box, the Easy Digital Downloads cart widget becomes private as part of your private store. 
But what I was going to show you is how to add a login widget. So I'm going to find a normal text widget and I'm going to drag it to my main sidebar area. I'll put it there. And then I'm going to write, you can add a title if you want, you don't have to. Um, then I'm going to write category underscore login. This is a short code, so you surround it with square brackets. So it's square brackets, category underscore login, close square brackets, and I'm going to save it. And then I'll show you what that looks like on my website. There it is. So I've got private store login, and you can enter the password there. So you can add that anywhere you want on your website. It doesn't have to be a widget. You simply add the category underscore login short code to any page, post, text area, wherever you want, and it will put a login form there. You can also link to your login form from the uh, anywhere else, like your menu or something like that. So I'm going to go to appearance menus and show you how to do that. Now, to do that, what you need to do is add a link to your main password protected category. So I'm going to go back to download categories quickly and copy the link. So I'm going to hover over view, right click it and copy link address. So what I've done there is copy the URL of my main private store category. So I'm going to go to menus and I'm going to create a custom link. So I paste it in there and I'm going to write private store login. Um, I'll just store login. Nobody would write private store there, would they? So that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to remove the downloads link because as you saw, that's my public downloads page, which there's nothing on. So we don't need to use that. Now, just a quick tip. You'll also see that Easy Digital Downloads provides a list of categories which you could add to the menu. You don't want to do that because in the private, uh, in the password protected category settings page a minute ago, you didn't tick the box to show your private content in the public parts of your site, which includes navigation menus. So if you tick these, um, then actually I'll do it now. I'll add them both now. If you tick these and they're at the end of the form, they actually won't appear in the menu. To use it as a custom link, the plugin doesn't know that that's private content. So it's a bit of a workaround, but it's a useful way of adding it to the menu. So I'm going to save the menu and then I'm going to refresh my website so that you can see how that's changed. So here we have a store login link, which is the one I added as a custom menu item. So if I click that, see it's the login page with the text that we entered on the settings page. And you've also got the widget there. But you can see to the right of contacts, I added these two. But because I use the download category section, they're not appearing. So that's how that works. So next, what we're going to do is add, it was private EDD, wasn't it? So I'm going to add the password and I'm going to log in and then you can see what will change when I log in. So I'm logging in and I'm immediately into my private store. You can now see that the hidden menu items that I added have appeared. So if you do want to create a navigation structure within your menu that only appears to people who have entered the password, that's a good way to do it. So that allows you to navigate to subcategories, for example, but public users cannot see this menu item. So it's really useful for your navigation. So now this is the subcategory. I can also go through to any of the downloadable products. I can click purchase and I'll go back to my category. And you can see now that the cart widget is appearing. Um, as you saw a minute ago, I had ticked the box to only show this cart if there were actually items in the cart and hide if it's empty. So now I've got something in the cart, the widget is ap appearing. So that is how you create a private easy digital download store. There's lots of reasons why you might want to do this, such as a members only store. And this is everything you need to know to do that. So to get the password protected categories plugin, you need to go to our website barn2.co.uk and get the plugin from there. And when you get it, you get a full year of support and plugin updates and everything you need to get up and running with your private easy digital download store. So feel free to get in touch if you've got any questions about whether it will work for you. And if you want to just hide parts of easy digital downloads, then you can watch our other tutorials on those topics. I hope that was helpful for you.